Hello and welcome back to the Intellect series. Today I think what we're going to do is build a new crafting base because my crafting setup is a little bit lame. I have one chemistry station, one campfire, one forge with one crucible, no cement mixers and I have a workbench super glued to the side of that silo because it got stuck. Which isn't optimal for when you want to go and build big bases in the late game. I need to build myself something better. Now the issue there is, is I don't want to spend loads of time building something, you know, aesthetically pleasing. I just want almost the most efficient base I could have. And I want to build it slightly underground like the last crafting base I did, but nowhere near as deep. That took ages to dig out. And I think the idea I'm going to go for is like an 11 by 9 box, slightly underground, which I can then easily protect with turrets and, you know, spikes. But to do that, I'm going to need materials. And the the big ones I'm going to need are cobblestone because I like to build just straight out of cobblestone. I typically don't like to start building from wood and then upgrade all the way through. It's good XP. But if you think about it this way, yes, you'll get a lot of XP for building a big base and upgrading it. But at the same time, you use a lot more time. If you just build the base faster, you can get back to doing slightly less mind numbing forms of XP gain. And I've not extensively tested the XP rates or anything, but I think it's probably better for my brain if I just build quickly and then get back to killing things. So that's the way I like to do things. I'm gonna guess I'll probably need no more than 500 cobblestone blocks. I think that would probably be excessive, but it doesn't matter too much because I'll need those cobblestone blocks later. But before I do that, I need to consider the crafting stations I'm going to need and the crafting stations that my workbench will, on its own, be able to produce. So I think the first thing to do is work on getting a bunch of extra workbenches so I can build all the other stuff faster. And then we can take that over to the new crafting base and go from there. So workbenches require forged iron, duct tape, mechanical parts, and nails, and of course wood. So let me see what I have in these seven boxes and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I am severely lacking very kinds of iron products. So let me take the iron scrap I have and the clay and use some of it in the forge here. I'll get some fuel in here. How many workbenches do I want? So the idea I had would have seven workbenches, which is a lot. But those of you who've watched how I play this game know that I like to produce a lot of things very quickly because it's the best way to do it for a YouTube series where if you have a sudden change of plans, you can produce a lot of things very, very quickly, which is really helpful for my time management in real life. That's why I go so crazy with my crafting bases. Let me turn that on, start it smelting. Do I need immediate seven workbenches? No, I think just a few extra ones right now will help. I can get started on 57 forged iron, but I probably should start with the nails. So let's go for three workbenches as a starting point on top of the one I have. So that would require 253 nails. And then I'll just pump out the rest of the forged iron I can get. As this comes out, there will obviously be way more iron smelted in there. So we don't have to worry about that. Duct tape, of course, I will need so very many pieces of duct tape. Uh, let's see, my dew collectors may have produced some more water so I can make even more glue here. I've got like 50 glue, but it's not duct taped yet. Alright, there's an additional 12 water. If I grab my bones... Oh, hang on, speaking of bones. Now someone was telling me you can actually get the full harvest from bodies and stuff with the stun baton, so... I mean, that is the full harvest, I think. I'll have to find another deer to verify, but that seems right. But it took a lot of extra time compared to just macheteing it. But I suppose it's good to know. Oh, you know where I can find a bunch of animals, though? Bob's spores. That would work. How far away is that? 500 meters? I'll go over here. This place has barbed wire, which I didn't know about. Um, before I collect all those extra ones. I don't want to do this full POI. I don't have the water to make the glue, but I do want to test the stun baton. See if it actually is, like, a viable alternative to the machete. Come here, boar. As a meat collecting tool. Obviously it's a good weapon, the series has proved that. We'll get you 30 meat and 20 bones. And let's go kill another boar. And boar do give, like, a static amount of meat and bones. It'll be increased by your huntsman skill, obviously. But you don't have to worry about getting different amounts per boar. Okay, and let's stun baton this one. Obviously it'll take longer, but as a viable alternative to the machete, 
30, 16. Maybe bones are variable then, but you definitely get the same amount of meat. Let me test another boar with the machete. It definitely seems like it's equal then, but I assumed you always got the same amount of bones, but maybe you don't. Let's see. Oh, that was a bad test. I didn't let the inventory screen clear there. <laughs> so now it just looks like I got 68 bones. Shit! It's fine, there's more boar. I'm gonna end up clearing this whole fucking POI, aren't I? So... This time we'll be able to see like plus 30 and that'll be an indication of how many bones you get. So this one's still got 30, 20. The logical thing to do now would be test the stun baton again and see if it gets 30, 16 again. Right, so let's see if it still gets 16 bones. Yeah, okay, so it seems pretty reliably that the machete will get you 20 bones versus the stun baton will only get you 16. So if you want bones, the machete is definitely the way to go. It's also faster. But if all you want is meat, you can certainly choose to use the stun baton for whatever reason. But I want bones, so I'm just going to keep using my machete. Is Grace down there? Is she visible? Grace will kick my ass right now. I will probably try and kill her anyway. This probably warrants an overheal. Oh, I can get sneak attack, nice. Run away! Uh oh, I forgot all the bodies. Oh, I destroyed her body. <laughs> that sucks, that's like a hundred bones missing. Oh well. Still, there's a bunch of bones down here. That is the danger of hunting with an automatic rifle, I suppose. You can completely destroy the body. Still whole lot of bones out of this place, which I absolutely didn't need, because I only have 12 water, but we wanted to do some science, so here we are. And now I have loads of meat as well. Uh, also, all that time did to, all that stuff, didn't remember to actually craft the duct tape. Right, chemistry station, I'm gonna have to ask you to make me some glue. Right, so that's that handled, how's the forge been doing? Perfect. Uh, let's get more forged iron. I'll need some for chemistry stations as well if I'm going to make those. So we can make a few workbenches. So let me queue those up. Um, two, and I'll need more forged iron. Uh, I can make one of those in my other workbench though. Hang on. Instead of taking ten minutes, it will now take five. Now for my other forged iron, I kind of just have to wait for my forge or go and scrap something. But I can't think of anything to scrap nearby for some forged iron. I have more iron to put in my forge now at least. Here we go, one more piece of iron. Now I can make myself another workbench, queue that up in the same place. Right, so I'll have my three workbenches and everything will go much faster now. The next big thing is probably going to be not for crafting this base specifically, but to have them I will need cement mixers at some stage in this playthrough obviously, uh, which are pretty easy to make. God, I need a new storage system now. Cement mixers obviously require more forged iron engines and mechanical parts we'll probably wait on those then and then forges are the other things i would need more of i wanted to make seven forges as well so that will work quite well let me just find the pipes i'll need some cobblestone there's a little bit but i have more than that i know i do there we go some leather and some logs which you have to craft so that's fine i'll just queue up seven logs do I have enough of everything else to make seven forges? I do. Although I only need to make six forges because I have one. I'll also need six bellows logically, so... Oof, that's going to require a lot of leather, but I think I have it because I've been scrapping every office chair this playthrough. After the leather shortage of the last one, I was like, I need to remember to do that for once. Ah, there it is. Yeah, it's just a shit storage system. Uh, if I need six more bellows, then I need 30 more nails. That's fine. There we go, and I will queue up six more bellows. While I'm here, let me just queue up these cobblestone blocks as well. There's 112 more. Should be in a good position there, but I do want more. And in the interest of getting more, I think it's time we grab my auger, find the location I want to build this underground, and get a bunch of clay in the process. But let me grab the auger first. So I need to dig, let's call it seven down. If I want to put like grass over it and have it be completely hidden, that could be kind of cool. But yes, yeah, six overall plus the one for the seven so down six nine by eleven so let me see how long this is gonna take uh hopefully i have enough gas for it as well i'll just start it here right so there's the square marked out i got a lot of clay from that so i'm gonna immediately go and turn as much of that into cobblestone as i can 
so that I can make it into cobblestone blocks and I can build this base faster and I can get back to, you know, doing more interesting things quicker. Is one of my workbenches done? It is. Now, you don't need workbenches to make cobblestone, obviously, but I can make it much, much faster by having workbenches doing it rather than just me. So, ask this for a few thousand cobblestone. I'm going to go see if that other workbench is done. It should be. Also, I'm thirsty, so I'm going to go run to a puddle over here and drink it with my water purifier head mod. Well, oh, this one's done pretty much everything. Put this in here for now. So, 1300 between the two of them. My bells can go in the toilet. That'll do. <laughs> Mystery station. That needs three cooking pots. I have those for sure. There they are. Oh, I have everything else I need. I had the pipes on me. Cool. Um, I'll wait for this workbench to be done and I'll have that one dedicated to just making this chemistry station. Now, this crafting base is clearly unnecessary because I could shove workbenches, chemistry stations, cement mixers all over this place. I just don't really want to. I don't like living like that, so I just won't. <laughs> now I need pipes. That is so strange that pipes are the thing I need. And of course, I put my bellows in the toilet, so I can't even use that. You don't get pipes from was apparently but here's a sink and i have downstairs stuff that may have some pipes in it uh, like a sink the refrigerators give you pipes these have pipes that makes sense there we go i should be able to make the six forges now they'll just craft out over time there we go, the clay layer is gone, which puts us at one, two, three, four out of seven deep. And some of it is actually crushed sand and iron, so that'll be nice and helpful to get the other layers. I'm going to quickly run back. Look at all the clay I have. Uh, I'm going to quickly run back and check on those workbenches and get them crafting up even more blocks if I can. Doubt I'm going to need anywhere near that many blocks. This is a very compact base design, but it doesn't hurt to have spare cobblestone blocks because they're basically my frames. And the nice thing about working so much in cobblestone blocks is I rarely need to cut down many trees. So you got me another 800 cobblestone there. I'll order another 40 blocks out of each of these then. Uh, that puts me up to 376 blocks, solid amount so far. Uh, I'm going to switch over to the pickaxe for this next section of the digging because it is actually faster at digging stone. Alright, I think that's everything mined out. It looks kind of weird there, but we didn't get a screamer at least. So, I have a bunch of blocks on me, so I might as well just start this immediately. Let me take that out. So, I'm going to put the floor in. Just going to be cobblestone. The base doesn't need to be any better than cobblestone, because it is just going to be an underground crafting base. Which means that the only important block is going to be the block on the top, because that's the one the zombies are actually ever going to attack. And I plan on putting SMG turrets down, so they should probably never have to worry about it. Can I make those? Not yet, but soon I'll be able to make them and that'll be fixed. In the meantime, I'll just surround the base with a bunch of spikes, I guess. There we go. Now, ignore that this says that it's going to break. It's just something to do with ground level in seven days tonight. It seems to think if you place this, it'll break. As you can see, it doesn't. I don't know what that's about, but it seems to be just a thing. <laughs> so just ignore it. Oh, I did the thing. I made it too tall. Yeah, no, the top layer was supposed to be grass. I forgot. Let me break these. Still saves so much more time when you're not having to upgrade every single block multiple times. I do have a nail gun and it would still take ages to upgrade this. So ignoring this one minor mistake, it would be much, much faster. It's still going to be faster, but not as fast as it could have been. So one, two, three, four. There we go. I wanted four on the inside. There we go. And now fill in the walls. Okay. We have 14 blocks to spare. It's a very simple cube. By Well, it's not a cube, it's a cuboid because it's 11 by 9. It's a very simple cuboid um, by design. Let's see. I don't have enough topsoil yet. Let me go back to my base and start gathering up all the crafting stations to put in there. Oh, and I'll need a hatch. There's one. Uh, what about you? Cool. Yeah, that did give me a lot of XP. The comments were right. If I just use like a first aid bandage, will I get a level? There we go. <laughs> Completely wasteful, but I have so much of them and I was really close to a level, so I thought, why not? Uh, you know what? Advanced engineering is probably the way to go. We are kind of getting into that stage of the game where I am producing a lot of stuff. There we go. I had a bunch of spare topsoil blocks. I'm just going to throw them away. Um, Let me make a hatch. Wouldn't want to do for now, but that is very little security on a pretty expensive base. And my extra forge will obviously fill in that gap there. 
Workbenches can go on top of forges, of course. I forgot to get the other ones. Oh, I have my spare chemistry station. I forgot. Let me place you there. Um, the cement mixers are going to go in like the gaps between the chemistry stations. And then there will be storage on these walls here and here. The campfires are going to go like on a little side piece here with a generator here and a bedroll here. It's pretty compact for the amount of stuff you're fitting into it. Um, you could also fit more storage on top of the chemistry stations if you wanted to. Let me go pick up those other two workbenches really quickly. I didn't bring my nail gun, did I? Right, well, we'll have to upgrade the hatch in a, in a minute, because <laughs> I didn't actually bring a nail gun to do it. Forge. There we go, all seven of my forges. Now, in the last playthrough, I had, what was it, ten forges? But here's the thing. This time... I'm going to have advanced engineering, which massively improves the efficiency. So even though this is a tiny, tiny little cobblestone box, this is probably going to be more efficient than that massive underground base I had in the last series, which is a nice benefit of intelligence. Do that. Now, obviously, plenty of people hate it when you do this. I don't care. Oh, no, they're called steel hatches now. I keep forgetting that. Steel hatch. Where are you? Steel hatch. There's also steel wall cabinets. I'm interested to see what kind of storage they actually have. I doubt they'll be worth it, but let's find out. Right, I need to get some storage. Uh, let me go ahead. Where are the forges? I'm going to split my clay so that there's like a thousand clay in each of these forges. There we go, that should do. And now, I was going to say I need iron, but I have iron because I mined it, I forgot. So I don't even have to go out and get more. Let me go ahead and put in how much iron do you need for an anvil iron i think is a direct one so like one iron you put in one iron you get out you get like five clay for every one clay you put in so i'll try and put 1250 iron in here as much as possible and we're a little bit short on iron for the last one but there's no harm in getting it to do its thing there we are feeling a little bit safer with that and steel wall cabinet and a steel wall hatch. I don't know why I had three workbenches and decided to do that in the same one, but it's fine. Now here's the problem with a steel wall cabinet. I don't know how much storage it has, so it could be terrible. So what I'm going to do is put it like there. That's not bad, but you don't get the benefit of having like a name on the side. So, mmm. If I got a spare steel, I do. 1500 health. That doesn't feel worth it. But if you do want the absolute most space, then it looks like the wall cabinets are the way to go. Because I think these give more than like a writable storage crate, but I I find the organization of the storage crates to be way more worthwhile than the health or the storage of that. So yeah. Oh well, there's wall safes which function as the same. I wonder if they're worth using at all. Let's make a wall safe as well. Just doing some storage science. Bed roll there, a couple of campfires here. I rarely cook anyway. And I'll put a generator bank here once I've got some spare materials, and I'll have like a switch and a relay and stuff on these blocks here. Are you done with the wall safe? You are. Let's see, is it worth... Is it worth? I mean, you can definitely fit extra storage like this. For example, if I was to try and put a writable storage here, it wouldn't work because I wouldn't be able to move. But I could put it there. Uh, you have n next to no storage. I imagine you have decent health. That has more health than the steel one. Game, have you forgotten how your own progression works? So, these give you more storage, but these have more health. But these cost steel. Either way, it's kind of cool that I'll be able to basically put storage on every block on the inside of here if I need it with the wall safes and the wall cabinets, because they take up a block, but they let you move through that block, unlike the writable storage, but... I still think the ability to, like, label my storage is so much more useful than extra health or the ability to walk through that tile. But, you know, we're learning things. That's a tip for you if you're trying to make a really compact base or a really defendable base, I guess, as you have a bunch of storage containers. I think what I really do need is just more iron more than anything. I don't want to mine right next to my house. Go over there. There's 7,000 more iron. That's enough to put another 1,000 in each of the forges, of course. And that'll help me make just, you know, a little bit more forged iron out of all of them. Oh, that last one had to be placed that way, really. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. I'll place a couple of extra ones here. 
I will run into these regularly, don't you worry. Uh, maybe in that vein, I should stop myself from doing it at least partially with, like, some railings. And that will also slightly slow the zombies down, though not entirely, because they will just jump over this. It's just a little fence, but it's to stop me from running straight into the spikes as I go outside. In fact, I could probably make that much more foolproof if I do something like this. There. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would actually, you know, I've childproofed it. <laughs> I shouldn't run into my own spikes now. Uh, you know what, maybe just another one there as well. That works. This one is about to be done and then I can get it to make me some nails. Once I have some nails, I can make some storage and I can start moving all my stuff across, which will stop me from having to just sit here and do nothing for two minutes. So, uh, make me 600 nails. Um, I don't think I'll need that many, but just make me them anyway, it's fine. And are you done on nails? You are. So, how many writable storage crates can I make? I can make 60. How many do I need, though? Uh, I can split that, like, four between each of my crafting thingies here, and it'll only take 45 seconds. And I'll have a bunch of extra nails for my workbenches I want to make anyway. Let's get these storage started. I think I actually want them to be in line with this. There we go. There's 16 storage crates, which should be enough for a mid-game base to be able to sort out into basically everything. Let me just start that process now. Okay, first uh, load of stuff has been sorted out into these containers. Let me see what the forges can do. I need more forged iron. Just across the board. Oh, let me make sure I put the anvils in first. More forged iron. More forged iron. Even more. Would you guess? Even more. And even more. Cool. Right, let me go get more stuff from my old base here. There is all the materials I need for four more workbenches. Let's craft one in my inventory. And one in each of the other workbenches. There we go. Next, I need cement mixers. And I need... Well, I don't need eight, but I was thinking about getting eight. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which would require eight engines. I only have three. And I only have 30 mechanical parts, so let's make three cement mixers, I guess, since I have the perfect amount to do that. Yeah, and that'll do nicely. Let's just do those in each of the workbenches as well, because they need to be done in the workbench. So, I want another five cement mixers. Going out and scrapping a bunch of cars will get me all the materials I need to be able to do that anyway, so works. Uh, and then it would be chemistry stations, which the major issue there is going to be the two beakers I would need to make two more. Well, you know what? I could actually do with a lot more than five engines as well, because if I want to make a generator bank, that's going to require a lot of extra engines. Up to six? Don't think I'll need six. Oh, there's one engine. Um, but I'll see what I can do about maybe getting, like, one generator for the generator bank at least, so I can have some lights in my house. There's another engine, nice. Another engine. That's decent luck on those at least. Another engine and a battery. Oh, the impact driver is so good. It's so much easier to scrap cars now. Oh, there's one in there. I missed it. So I've got my five cement mixer engines. At least I wonder if I should just go for like six engines for my generator bank. It only took me like a couple of minutes to get that many engines. How much harder could it be really? Besides, I've not found any medical PYs I haven't looted yet, so... Need to do some driving anyway. I also need crucibles, don't I? Hmm... That's something to consider. I'll need more forged iron and mechanical parts, and oil, but getting six more crucibles could be very helpful, but there's no rush on that. I don't plan on using that much forged steel just yet, but it would be kind of cool to get it out of the way. Really quickly, let me go back to my base and start crafting up those five extra cement mixers, and we can drive out maybe to another town and see if there's any unlooted medical PYs, because this town's pretty looted as far as that's concerned. Let's see, workbench and cement mixer. I'm going to have to place a bunch of stuff. Hang on, hang on, let me sort out my inventory. There, so I have seven workbenches crammed in here and it's great. Let me place a few uh, cement mixers as well. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five. Cool. Need some more forged iron, but I'm going to be grabbing a bunch of scrap iron when I'm out uh, scrapping. So that should solve itself. 
relatively easily. The next thing I will need is the extra 200 forged iron, of course, for the chemistry stations is already done, so I don't have to worry about that. But if I want six crucibles, I will need another 600 forged iron, so maybe I should look into also scrapping any forged iron stuff I see on my travels. I think I'm just gonna... Let's see, where would be the best one? I think flying north to this town and scrapping everything I can find and looking through all the medical POIs is going to be the best bit. You get the motorcycle here. Oh, did I leave all my mods on the auger and then leave the auger at home? That's mildly annoying. It's going to take me longer to break into things. Right, so there's no point trying to break through those doors because there's a bigger door behind it. See? So, we just break this and then go around. Let's get into some fights. Well, I only brought one arrow. Well, I made it count, at least. Oh, I'm stuck behind the button. That'll do. Ow. Oh, hey, buddy. This feral white just died. Did I bring lockpicks? I brought four, we can give it a try. There's no lab boxes here, but you might get a, a beaker out of those anyway. So I might as well grab what's here while I'm here. There we go. Two acid at least. Is this the one that has the loot in this room? Eh, let's try the wood. That'll do. Farming. Uh, right, let's open up this crate here. Obviously not going to have a beaker in it, but it could have something useful. Uh, electrical traps, wiring, vehicles, and a battery. Oh, nothing in here, but it took seconds to clear, so let's continue driving. Forged iron, mechanical parts, and electrical parts. So mechanical, electrical, and forged iron. And I'll queue up one of those. Speaking of things I was queuing up, let me get these cement mixers down as well. Another one there, another one there, and there, and fill in this gap with them as well. There, eight cement mixers. Uh, that's way more than I'll ever need, but that's how I do things. Right, so, what I need is just a bunch of forged iron and a couple of beakers then. So let's go see Trader Wrecked and see if he has any medical POIs for me, because they are a guaranteed at least chance at getting a lab box, which are probably one of the more reliable ways of finding the beaker. But also, just high tier end loot is also a solid source of beakers, so we can also do that. Right, so none of his PYs are great options for getting beakers. What do I want to do? I mean, he does have like a pop in pills, but it's like six kilometers away, and I bet it's in the wasteland, and I'm not quite ready for that. Well, it's not super high priority. Let's go down to the Trader Joel town, the one that I went to before to get the Art of Mining books, because I know it's mostly unlooted, so I could probably just clear it from one side to the other and come out with something. Uh, let me order up some more forged iron from my base, though. All I really want from the generator bank right now is just something to turn the lights on. Doesn't need to be able to do anything crazy. Grab that, grab some gas. Also, I'll need ammo. 762, arrows... And I've got the gas on me, so chuck that in there, refuel all, and I'll need some light bulbs, because that's all I wanted from it. Uh, electrical parts? Yeah, I think people were saying the fluorescent lights don't randomly change up on you. So let me make a few of those in four different workbenches there. That can go there for later, more for putting the turrets up outside. Right, so I have 300 iron. If I don't think I'm going to be getting the chemistry station anytime soon, I might as well get as many crucibles as I can. So I also need mechanical parts, oil, clay, and stone. Decent amount of stone, that's for sure, if I've got clay. And I've got clay. So let's queue up. Crucible, crucible, crucible. And that's all I can make crucible-wise. Let's get these lights. So I'm up to four crucibles, once those are crafted anyway. So that is a good start. Place these lights in. Let's see. I have a wiring tool somewhere, right? I've got plenty of them. Please take 10 watts each. That's like an SMG turret's worth. Why? It's just a light. Whatever. There we go. We're fully lit up in here, at least. I wouldn't mind finding another, like, five engines just so that the generator bank 
is done and I don't have to think about it anymore. Oh, I see a mortician's house. They usually have, um, what are they called? Lab boxes at the end, I think. And they have chemistry sets, which I think may have a chance of giving you a beaker. I'm actually not sure about that. Worth a shot though, I think. Right, I'm taking no prisoners today. I'm gonna break into this house, get the loot. I'm gonna do the same at the mortician's house as well. The fuck? Ow. Right, no lab containers, but this loot is right here. Oh, triple armor pocket mod. I uh, think that can be used to free up another slot, maybe? Or am I fully triple armor? But I'm, I'm fully triple armor pocket modded up. I'm good. Well, we can save that for some kind of armor to sell. Right, let's run across the street, see what I can do to the mortician's house here to cheese some easy loot. I know how to skip most of the PY, but you're still going to have to do, like, the final fight. Oh, hello. Didn't expect a wolf. Now, you can dig around here and get into the hatch and stuff, but you're going to have to break through a steel hatch to get in anyway, so... Just, just take the fight. That's what I would do. Ah, here's a lab box. Forgot about this one. No beaker. See, this is the difficulty. An acid, though. Three glue. Get some forged iron out of this. Still someone back here? No lab boxes. Well, there's always the final loot for a chance at stuff. No beakers. Let's continue. Uh, really quickly, Moe's Grocery also has some really easy to access end loot. I might have already looted the place. But the end loot is easy to get and there's a cement mixer in there. Nope, no beaker this time. This uh, farming POI, I think, next to me. Uh, has also very easily accessible land loot, so I will also just run straight to that. Let's get out of here. Ooh, that could have been bad. There's a pharmacy in there. Could that be useful? Anything in the pharmacy? In terms of, like, lab crates, anyway. Doesn't look like it. Where's the end loot to this place again? Had time to run out of stamina. Can I fucking move, please? That stun sucks so bad. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh, I sprained everything. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? Fuck off, cop. Where did I break in again? I think I brought a splint with me, at least. Oh well, I don't know if that's actually going to cure both of those sprains, but whatever. In fact, if I don't have it on me, I probably didn't bring it. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, of course, there's always vitamins. Grab those. I can't see a splint, but I think I might have the materials to make one. Make some duct tape. Uh, splint. Will this cure both of them? What do you mean you can't use it? What are you fucking talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? You can't use the splint at this time. What? The whole point of the fucking splint is that I have physician rank 1 and I can use that to cure sprains. Is it because I have 2 it doesn't know what the fuck you can do? Seriously. This game's fucked. Ugh. Fucking 10 years in development. Let me go ahead and get some water then, since I used the painkiller. 
I'm not going to bother with the end loot for that place. It's too big of a POI. Waste of time. What if I have two splints? Nope, can't figure it out. What a game. Seriously, game. Oh, you suck so fucking much. Oh, if people would watch me play literally any other game, I would play it. At least now I think I can cure the arm. And then can I cure the... Okay, that that has gotten rid of it at least. I still have 13 minutes on a broken arm now, for fuck's sake. I had to break my fucking arm to splint my leg. What is this game on? Okay, well that was a nice little detour. At least I found a way to cure my leg. I mean, I had to absolutely snap my arm. But, you know... You know what? There is no but, you know. That's the end of the sentence. I had to fix my leg by snapping my arm. Welcome to Seven Days to Die. Put that on the fucking box art. I suppose one last stitch effort would be to just check if the trader here is selling one. I would have to fly back and get money, but that's not a big deal. Merchandise. No beaker. He's selling too many bikes. See, this one's made me a hundred more forged iron and it can make another hundred forged iron and I'll give it even more iron it'll probably be able to make me another bit of forged iron. So there's another crucible's worth, at least. Something. Let me clear out my inventory here. Let's see. Crucibles? Where did I start the chain of these? Was it here? Right, there's three more crucibles, so we're up to four out of seven. And then I'll grab the materials to make another one. Where did I put my forged iron? Oh, in the scrap for some reason. Okay. Oil and stone and clay. Crucible, and then I need 58 more forged iron. We're close to getting that, actually. There we go, another crucible. Let's see, this one's already been used. Crucible. Right, I'll need a little bit more mechanical parts and oil. Am I actually properly out of mechanical parts? I think I am. I'm gonna have to go scrap a couple of cars. Hang on. Here we go. Scrapping that one tractor gave me enough. Got a little bit of iron as well. I think I should have enough iron cooking to make a hundred forged iron. Not hundred percent sure on that, but I imagine so. Yep, yeah, that that'll be more than enough. That works. We'll have a crucible, and that means I'll have all the crucibles I'll need for this playthrough. Hopefully, there's one crucible. Uh, which one of you doesn't? There we go. We go. That's five out of seven. There we go. One more crucible to go. Here we go, the last forged iron. And one more crucible. There, I have all the crucibles I need. Just gotta wait for that one to craft now. And there's our last crucible. A little bit of concrete going in here. We have all my crucibles ready to go. The last thing I need to do is get a couple of... Uh, chemistry stations, one there and one here, but they're not super high priority, and I can put in some extra stuff along these walls if I need it as well. Pretty good crafting base that should be pretty good for the rest of the game, I just need some SMG turrets to defend it, which that's going to require some tier 5s done. To do tier 5s, I'm going to make a bunch of robotic turret ammo and just have them shred the tier 5s for me, basically. Thank you to my channel members and patrons for making this video possible, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.